Good morning. We left up yesterday um, talking about a transition into vegetable, using vegetables to break our fast. Um, but it came to my attention that there's something we had to reiterate, which is not mixing fruits. When you, the first thing that goes to your stomach is a fruit, please do yourself a favor. That's not the time to eat a fruit salad. Some people think it's healthy because it's fruit. Well, if you have to do a, a, a fruit salad or a fruit bowl, then you want to make sure that the fruits are compatible. Not every fruit is compatible with uh, other fruits. So make sure you do that. But if you are listening to this because you want to learn, you want to do different, then my, my counsel for you, we are counseling you to um, not mix the fruit, especially the first thing that's getting into your stomach. Do not mix it. Um, get a fruit, one that you love so much. I really do advocate for that. I will eat mango anytime. You can get, no, I, definitely not get me up at 2 a.m., but I love mangoes. So if I'm fasting and it's a season for mango, guess what I'm getting? Mangoes or watermelon, you know? So what I'm saying is get what you like, but get something that you can eat gradually and don't mix it. It's very important to know that mixing the fruit, the first thing when you're breaking the fast, it's not going to be beneficial to you. Make sure you you are, are ready for it because one of the reasons why people will mix stuff like that is one, indiscipline. Two, they don't have the fruit. They didn't plan what they were going to break the fast with. So now they're grabbing everything and anything that they're seeing and putting it together. If you're fasting and maybe you, you went for a party and which I don't advocate, you don't break your fast out there. It's always good to break your fast with a word of prayer or with a long prayer, not just a word, right? But listen, it's very important to eat fruit, but don't mix the fruit. If we get that, then we can transition. Um, we have said it and we keep saying it that the amount of food or fruits that you eat also should be considered right okay so we're a good place with fruits so we can now transition into vegetables oh wow um i know a lot of people we talk about the daniel fast we talk about the veggie fast all of the good um, kind of fasting where you only eat veggies but this case we're not looking at that those kind of fast we're looking at the fast where you actually have done maybe a 30 days or a 40 days or a week and you have not been eating then you have to break it the best way to eat veggies at this time is with a soup even in that soup taking back to fruit don't mix the veggies that's my i will always advocate for that don't mix it because now you're introducing food again into your system you don't want something uh, they call food confusion you don't want your body to be confused with what's going on here i know many people might not believe this but there's something called food confusion not an expert google it search it up learn i like to do that when i hear new things but i'm not going to go into that on this because we're looking at how to break your fast using veggies like i said i would prefer to use those veggies cooked in a soup because remember we're going for what soft fiber that's the yardstick that's the measurement for any and everything we use in uh, or we put in our stomach first thing uh when we're breaking the fast so what are some good veggies to to break your fast with i will leave you with that you research on that and get back to us we like to interact with you um below the video just text or record a video telling us a voice not a video record something or type something to say hey i always break my fast with this fruit or in this soup this kind of soup people will advocate for carrots cook them soft some people will advocate for cabbage that you cook them soft some people will advocate for what what um no watermelon what's it called the green thing um cucumber there we go some people wanted to make a cucumber soup
I mean, just so many things you can you put in your soup, but remember, we're not mixing them. That's not healthy. You ha you might have been doing it for a long time, but this is the purpose of these recordings, so we can know how to do things better and get better results. So use fruits uh, as you break the fast, but make sure the fruit follow the basic principle of soft and fiber even with fruit even with vegetable sorry vegetable i beg your pardon you want to be able to still make sure that you're not eating too much at once eat in bits you can eat even six times in three hours or in four hours but make sure you're not eating too much at once another thing we will begin to look at is listening to your body as you do all of this, one key thing would be listen to your body. We'll look at that tomorrow and, and get more detail into it. As we, we listen to our body um, during the period where we're breaking our fast, be it eating fruit or veggie, we want to listen to our body. God bless you.